Okay, very good. Anybody hear or see someone? Woo! Bingo! Got a few. Yeah, all right. Love that. Okay. So, wonderful. Well, now it's my turn. <laughs> so, um, this is going to be interesting. It's my first time working with a mic, and um, I see my leash is not too long. So... <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I'll be doing, too, as I come to you, uh, I'm going to be doing just, you know, kind of giving you as much information as I can, giving you a quick message, probably kind of moving on. And when you respond to me, I'll be probably saying what you're saying so everybody can kind of hear what's going on. And I do have some tissue in case anyone needs it. So, okay, let's see. Where do we begin? <sighs> Feeling real drawn over here. Let's see. Uh, it's one of you two. Uh, I think I may come to you. Yeah. I have a gentleman coming through for you. As I see him, um, he seems like kind of a kind of a big guy. <laughs> I guess you're gonna say like that. Yeah. He doesn't seem like super overweight, but he's a big guy. He's not thin. Um, lots of trees around him. Um, uh, he could either be in jeans or he also, I think, might be in overalls. Um, a little bit gruff, maybe? A little kind of, he seems a little mountain manish to me. Um, and uh, it seems like a, on a father's side or a father figure. Um, and his hands are rough like he works with wood or something there's something about wood too like it either he works with it or it's a hobby something i'm seeing it, besides the trees i'm seeing like wood I, I, he might even have a wood stove that he's chopping wood does this make any sense to you okay uh would this be a father for you grandfather, grandfather. okay on the father's side or the mother's side? oh well i'm still drawing the male side Okay, all right. Um, so as he comes in, he's got kind of a not real happy look on his face. <laughs> I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to say what the look is. And he's talking about siblings. Uh, and he's, not, you know, I normally think of sibling rivalry. He's saying sibling wars. Um, and uh, the idea, he wants you to stick to your guns, girl. You stick to your guns, and you um, get what you need. Uh, and there's some things in a garage that should be yours. There's some things. Um, I can't quite make out what it is. It, it could be objects for that, uh, the house. I don't think it's jewelry, but there's something in there that he wants you to, to look for. Um, okay, and there may be like a wood box or s something along those lines that would be something he may even have made. So going back to this idea of wood or owned, something that might have been his that he would like you to have. Does any of this make sense to you? So, okay, siblings. Sibling wars, siblings, sibling stuff, sibling, okay. All right. Um, okay, and then he just gives you a big bear hug. Okay, big, big, like you disappear. <laughs> that, he's that big. <laughs> you just disappear. Um, and he's it just how much he loves you and happy Valentine's Day. And, and keep a stiff, it's usually a stiff upper lip, but it also feels like keep your chin up. Okay? That may work for you. Okay. And I'm going to come right next door. Uh, <laughs> uh, for you, I have a, a gentleman coming in. He seems probably more on the tall side. I, I feel like I'm hearing 5'10", but it feels like he could be a little taller than that. He's uh, As he's coming in, he's sort of, s I'm going to say slender, good looking. He's not overweight. And he's coming in younger um, with short, darker colored hair. Um, and he has a very um, kind face. Um, 
I'm drawn to your father's side of the family. Uh, he's showing me a car, like a, I want to say it's like a Cadillac or something. It's kind of, a, it seems like a nice car, and he liked cars. I don't know that he's really working on them. He's not showing me working on them, but he likes cars. And he also likes, and it could be part of his work, he likes driving and going on trips or going, he goes places in these cars. Um, and let me see. I'm hearing the word postal. Po po <laughs> I hope we didn't go postal. <laughs> post office, post, post. Something about the post, maybe packages. Um, I'm drawn to your father's side of the family. Uh, he feels like I'm hearing the word uncle. Um, would this fit for you for uh, on your father's side, perhaps an uncle? His name could start with an R or Ryan. Might have to think about it. And if it doesn't really fit, this is the other thing I forgot. When I'm working in a big group like this, I kind of need to look around a little bit too. So I could be knowing it's for you and then it's for you or some, something like that. So um, just to be on the safe side, I do feel drawn to you though. And he almost looks like you. His skin is fair, but just to check, does this match for somebody else? No, I don't think, I think he's for you. Uh, and sometimes you have to figure it out for a little while. And if he's not actually, he would, if he's not an uncle, father, then he'd be like an uncle, like a father. Um, and as I'm seeing him younger, uh, like in his 30s with this car uh, from this, like the 60s. So, uh, and I feel like he did live probably maybe into his 60s. Might have passed from his heart. And his message to you and hopefully you'll figure out who is later. His message to you is similar to you about keeping your, your chin up. Um, um, he's talking about a little bit of a um, um, discussion issue, something going on with a female relative. Um, it's not super bad, but, but um, you're super really kind. And he's, he's just saying, um, be kind, but don't be too kind. Like, don't, don't you know, uh, have whole boundaries around whatever it is that's going on. Does that make sense? You look like the message makes sense. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I've had other people, they totally didn't know who I had, and then they really work at it, and they fi figure it out. Um, but I'm thinking an R name. Maybe Ryan, Robert, something like that. So, okay. All right. Like I say, it can be anybody. So, um, let's see. Kind of jumping back here. Um, boy, it's gentleman night so far. I've got another man coming in. Um, and I actually recognize Pamela with the red hair. Um, so, this gentleman that's coming in. I think I've had him recently before. Um, he feels like your father, um, uh, but I should explain what he looks like. <laughs> uh, he's he's a little on the um, gruff side. Um, I'm just going to say average height. Um, what he's he and his hair. Um, he, it's worn short. He's coming in older, like in his late 60s or somewhere in there. And his hair is short, but it's, it's peppery. And it may be starting to be it's e gone, or there could be some issues here. But it's definitely, I definitely see it here on the side, short. And what he's really trying to show me is this concept of he's like at a table, and he's eating at the table. And it isn't going well, trying to eat. And he's um, getting upset about eating trying to eat his meal, um, like a low frustration tolerance. Does this make sense to you so far? Okay. Um, he's also showing me um, uh, although it feels like a blonde woman, and, and it looks like you guys are kind of together, he, but a, a blonde woman it could be, I think she's alive, and she's probably around your age, 
Um, and I feel like she may be like there trying to help him out or, or if for some reason she's there. He wants to apologize to her um, because he feels like um, he wasn't that kind to her. I'm not clear. She, she, she's not any of you. She's somebody else that would have, and it may be colored, but it's blondish, blonder than, blonde, well, I'm not in my blonde stage right now, but it's blonde. Um, does this make sense to you? I think the woman is alive. He's not, but the woman, the woman. I think it's somebody, he's trying to come in and apologize to this woman. Um, so it could be like uh, maybe a sister-in-law, or it could be if he had anybody who ever came in and kind of helped him out once in a while, or a neighbor, or, you know. But she's, she's uh, probably in her 40s to 50s, the woman. Um, he's also, now he's crying, um, and he's so happy to see you together. Um, and he, he's applauding at the same time at how you all handled everything regarding his passing. Um, and um, something about the idea of teamwork, teamwork. Um, and he says that he knows it was a lot on you. Like it feels like maybe everything wasn't all prepared for when he passed, like you had to figure some things out. Does this make sense to you? Okay. Um, he's particularly trying to touch in with you about um, a child of yours. Do you have like a son? Um, I think he liked your son. I feel like he's getting pretty emotional uh, thinking about your son. Um, and he wants you to tell him how much he loves your, your son. I'm sure he loves all his grandchildren, but for some reason he's tapping in on this one. Um, and for you to keep, you know, a close eye on him. Like somehow maybe he's a little tender or gentle, your son, and he wants you to keep an eye. He, he's not really particularly similar to the grandfather. So, okay. So I'm going to leave that one with you. He brings much love. Um, let's see. <sighs> I need to come over here a little. <laughs> it's coming on over here. <sighs> May I come to you, ma'am, with a denim jacket on and the short hair? Uh, I think I have a gentleman coming in again. We gotta get some ladies. What is this? Um, but this gentleman that's coming in, I can't see him real clearly yet. Um, I keep going, well, is this because she's wearing a denim jacket or what? But this gentleman that's coming in, it feels like he would have been comfortable in some boots, like some even cowboy type boots. Uh, and he feels kind of taller to me, bigger to me. Um, oh, that's the other thing I forgot to tell you guys when I come to you. Don't nod and don't go like this. Yeah, you don't want to give me any hints. Although what's really not too much fun is somebody nods and you think you're on the right trail and then you give the message and they have no idea who you're talking about. So, so yeah, so I was like, oh, I don't even want to think I'm going down the right trail. So um, let's see. So this gentleman, and it feels like this gentleman would have had some, some property, like he would have lived where there's trees. Um, I don't know how big a piece of property. Uh, and I'm drawn. Where <laughs> can I get? I'm kind of actually drawn more to your mother's side of the family. But I sometimes get those mixed up. Um, and he would have had darker colored hair in his younger days, uh, truck. Um, how, how? old is he when he passes? Could be. Um, you haven't lost a son, have you? That would match this description. Do you, Have you? Uh, I said, ha you haven't lost a son that would match this description, have you? Yeah, I didn't think he was a son. He, he seems too old to be a son. Um, so far, does this gentleman sound like someone you know? Possibly. Okay. Uh, and I'm Part of me wants to go to the father's side, but I keep leaning more to the to the mother's side. And it it can also be a friend too. But he doesn't he doesn't really feel like a grandfather or a father. He feels um, a 
Let me try for his name. That's always stretching, but I feel like I'm getting like a Bob, uh, Robert Bob, uh, or Short Bill, something with a B. Um, it could be like an uncle. I don't, I don't, I'm not getting dad, grandfather. Does that fit? An uncle or like an uncle, somebody with property? No. So the cowboy boots don't match either. That matches. The, tie, the tallness matches. The hair, I'm just not getting the relationship right. Okay. All right. Well, I can't be totally exact. <laughs> Let me go ahead and give you his message. Um, uh, and I think he would have passed from something having to do probably with his heart. Um, well, now as he's coming in with a message, he seems a little closer to you. Um, He's kind of crying, so he's got to be closer than, I, than I'm thinking he was. He's crying, and he wants to tell you he loves you, um, and he wants to come in. He wants to hug you and hold you. This feels almost more like it would be like a husband or somebody super close I to you, um, and he wants to... Um, he's talking about, like... Um, finances and like writing things down on paper like keeping track of property and things um, and he wants to say you're doing a good job at everything um, so he, he must have known about your you keeping track of things uh, does this make sense to you sort of Okay, well, I'm going to leave that one with you because I, I definitely think I have someone for you. If I, I'm not, you know, maybe nailing it for you, but uh, I got a lot of it. So, <laughs> okay. Hi, how are you two? <laughs> Let's see. Who do I have for you? Um, boy, I feel like I got another male coming in. Um, are you two related like sisters? You're like sisters? Okay. Oh, uh, oh okay. Because uh, you like look alike. I mean, <laughs> um, I have a gentleman coming through, and he feels more like a, uh, I want to say like a father figure. He too has darker colored hair, but I'm trying to figure is he you or is he you? Um, this gentleman comes through. He's probably. Um, on the taller side, I'm going to say 5'10 to 6 feet. He's, I see him in a suit. He's actually in a suit, which to me, you know, we're talking more the business type of a person that's um, uh, and s kind of on the slender side. He's, um, he likes music. Uh, and at some point in his life, he also would have enjoyed dancing. Uh, I feel like I see him moving around like he would have been dancing. Um, I feel like I'm a little bit more drawn to you than to you. Does this make sense to you? Yeah, that's kind of where I'm heading is along that line. Did he like to dance? Did he like music? Does the description match him? The suit? Uh, no, he's not in the military. He could have been in the military, but he's not showing me that. He's just showing me a nice dress suit like he would have, you know, well, in the evenings he might have worn that. He presents himself well. Um, he's trying to call you a pet name, but I can't quite get the name. What is that name? Well, I'm hearing the word booty. I don't know what that means. Does that mean anything? Okay, we got something. Ah! <laughs> it's always nice when you get a detail. Okay, what does it mean? I don't get it. <laughs> a bubbles booty? It was a nickname thing. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, he's coming. He's trying to give you lots of chocolate. He's trying to give you, like, the red roses. He's trying to give you lots of things. And he wishes while he was here he could have given you more things. Like, um, okay, you already told me about the military, but it, it, it does feel like he wasn't around all the time. Um, and he wishes he really could have been, especially when you're like four or five. There's something when you're super little um, that he wasn't, and now I'm getting chills, that he wasn't around. Um, 
and it feels like at that time in your life maybe something not good happened. I don't really want to go into details, but um, does that fit for you? Yeah, she's, okay, guys, I know you can't see her, but she's crying, and, and it, yeah. Would you like a tissue? You got, you're okay? Um, uh, he wants you to know he knows about that. Uh, I don't know if he always did or if it's just more like on the other side. Once you're on the other side, you can see things you didn't see here. And he, he wants to give you a big hug and, you know, if I'd been there, kind of if he'd, if he'd been here, there's something he would have done about this. Okay? All right. So I'm going to leave that one with you. He loves you very much, okay? I'm going to zip on over. Okay. No, I got that one. Okay. Uh, moving to the back of the room, actually, I recognize this person, Mary, in the red shirt. You're all Valentine's Eve today, too. Um, I'm going to bring in a woman. It's <laughs> your mom. She actually was coming in before the show, or like yesterday, even. Um, yeah. Once I've gotten somebody in before, a lot of times they can come in pretty easily. Um, she says she's glad you're here tonight, that you were not going to be here, but she's glad you're here because it's a lot less expensive for her to talk to you here than it is to come to my office. <laughs> and she wants to save you money. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Mom. <laughs> uh, so this woman, when she comes in, she's pretty much a, a, she's a hoot. She's a laugh. And if anybody watched my movie from the last show that I did. She's the first reading the lady that worked at Macy's. Um, so why she wanted you here tonight. And she had to move heaven and earth to get you here tonight. Does it, you're nodding. Does that make sense to you? Can you say a little more about that? Okay, good, okay. Well, she's very glad you're here tonight. She says for a few reasons. One, because it's less expensive. <laughs> and uh, uh, two, because she wants to give you a big hug and she wants to thank you for everything you've done for your sister in the last few months. She says you have done more for her than, um, than you know. Um, does that make sense to you? Yeah, you've done kind of uh, above and beyond normal? Okay. 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 All right, great. Great. Okay. Um, and, of course, she wants to... No, she doesn't want to give you candy. Um, she wants to <laughs> give you <laughs> a flowered shirt, a blouse, like, with flowers on it, um, and some perfume. She wants to give you some, oh, that, you're, yeah, okay, what's that mean? The perfume, does that, oh, oh okay, because I didn't know that. Okay, <laughs> not everybody here was going to want perfume. So, <laughs> um, uh, so I'm going to leave that one with you, okay? Thank you. All righty. May I come to you with a blonde hair and hi. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Let's see who I can bring in for you. Um, I feel like I have a young male coming in for you. Um, <coughs> okay, sometimes I'll start to feel their feelings and stuff. And so he's very close to you. And his hair, um, I guess it, it's, it's either kind of light brown or maybe a little blondish. It, it's not dark. I'm not picking up super dark hair as I'm seeing it. 
Um, and he's coming in pretty young. They can come in any age. He feels like he's coming in around 23, something like along those lines. Um, and his height, I'm going to say just kind of average height. I'm not picking up like 6'2 or something. Just kind of, uh, and I was trying to stand up for me. Like, <laughs> well, I'm hearing 5'10, but he's trying. <laughs> trying to stand up for me. Um, and he would have liked all things male. He would have liked like cars. He's showing me like the idea of cars um, and um, driving. Ooh. Trying to, ooh. I hope he didn't pass in a car crash. It feels like his passing Something feels upsetting about his passing. So it could be like a car crash, or it, it just doesn't feel like a long drawn out illness type of thing. Does that make sense to you? Do you know a young man like this? Does this match anyone for you? He feels kind of like a son, or he, he, I mean, it, it could it be a brother? No, it feels more like a son um, because of the age he's coming in. And let me see how old I can get him. Uh, Well, I know I can't get him beyond like 30. And even that feels like I'm pushing it to do that. Um, how old was he? Oh, he was real young. Okay. So he would have been into cars and all of that. Um, and was it sort of an accident type thing that happened to him? Okay. Uh, very, yeah, it's just like, um, he loves you so much. I know I want to cry too. This happens to me once in a while. He loves you so much, and he's saying, I'm sorry, Mom. I, something like, I didn't look both ways. Um, but I, it, that feels more like not necessarily exactly what happened, but it's the idea of, you know, Mom knows best and maybe not quite doing what Mom wanted him to do <laughs> kind of a thing. And um, he's telling me, you might not agree with this, but he's telling me he could be a brat sometimes. Um, <laughs> and that uh, he's in, he's, he's like, mom, and this feels like it's about him passing. He says, you've got to let this go. He says, um, you're not letting me go. He says, but you've got to, to let this, um, the hurt of it go. And maybe even if you haven't been work with someone to help you let it go. He says, I want you to know I'm fine. And there's another older gentleman that's there that's with him that's been kind of showing him the ropes. Although I think he's been there a little while. It just doesn't feel like it was like yesterday. It feels like it's a little bit. Um, do you want to say something? You right? Okay. All right. Um, and he, he wants to say Happy Valentine's Day, but it feels like also... I don't know. I feel it feels like you're not partnered. Are you partnered or not partnered? Do you have a husband or not? Oh, you are a husband. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it feels like he's saying this cuz he's afraid maybe you're not going to come through on Valentine's Day. So <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> are you a good Valentine's Day guy usually? Huh? Not a big one. Okay. Well, he's trying to come. He's, you're going to have to be now. <laughs> you are, you are on, the, on the line. Uh, yeah. So I'm sure he'd want to say something to you too, but he's just really <laughs> coming. Oh, he's not. Okay. So this is not dad. Okay. That, that makes sense. And then he's like, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, could have been a few issues there between you guys, maybe. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, he, he's showing me a butterfly. He, he wants you to fly like a butterfly. He wants you to just release all this, and he says, "Use, use my passing for good. Use my passing for you to um, transmute to 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 to." Be bigger and better than you ever were. Does that make sense to you? Okay, I'm going to leave that one with you. Wow. Okay. Hello. 
I'm coming to Cheryl, who I, I know. A lot of other people I don't know, too. So I, was just, um, I have a beautiful young girl coming in who looks very angelic-like to Well, not angelic, but guide-like to me. She's a pretty high vibration. Um, she is, well, I know who she is. She's your sister. She um, uh, is coming through. <sighs> She wants you to know how much you're loved, and not just by her, but by many people. So in other words, like with Valentine's Day, like hearts would be dropping from everywhere for you. Um, and clients and all of that are just, you know, dropping for you. And she wants you to know you're doing God's work uh, and that you're... Um, uh, going to be more and more appreciated every day, every year, as your work becomes like if you drop a pebble in the water and it expands, it's just going to keep expanding. Um, she says, oh, I can talk to her too. Like, like I don't have to spend a lot of time with her. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that one with you, all right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. So, and I am coming over to you, sir. May I come to you in the gray jacket? Well, I, I, sorry, behind you. <laughs> Older gentleman. <laughs> um, so I have, I want to say a couple things coming through. <laughs> I mean, one's a person, but one's something else. So let's see. This is going to kind of going off track of my usual uh, evening with spirits. I'll start with the person, <laughs> the female. I have a female coming through for you. Uh, she feels like she's from quite a while ago, like she's in a kind of like a long dress or something, and she's not particularly tall. Uh, uh, you know, the whole apron on kind of thing. Feels very grandmotherly. I mean, she almost goes so far back, makes me wonder if she's like a great grandmother. I'm along the mother's side of your family. I'm hearing the word Texas, but I don't know. You've never been to Texas, have you? Never lived there? Any family ever from there? I don't know why Texas. Um, she's not particularly tall. She's, she's a petite woman. Um, and she, uh, she's, she's old as I'm seeing her. She's like in her 70s as I'm seeing her. Um, she's saying grandmother. Uh, but she feels like she she worked hard in her life. Like she's not in a city. She feels like she's more rural, more. Um, maybe there wasn't a whole lot of money. D does this sound familiar to you? Sounds kind of like okay. So have you seen any pictures of her? Okay, so not real tall, kind of in the, yeah, long, okay. Uh, might even have under the dress more like boots than shoes on. Um, let me see what her message is for you. She says you're hitting the big road, but those days will be coming to a close of hitting the big road. Uh, does that make sense to you? If you're, you're hoping so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it feels like it has to do with your work and driving. She, um, she says you've worked hard for a lot of years. And when she says work, she means work. Like long hours working, the driving, and, um, and some other things before that. Like that wasn't always your career. There must have been something before that that feels even almost more grueling, kind of like something manual. There's something earlier you were doing. Is that fit for you? Oh, that could be grueling. My husband would say that's grueling. <laughs> okay. 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 So um, she says you've got a good woman. She'll take care of you. Uh, so let me see what this other thing is, because it's kind of intriguing to me. So um, 
if you guys have looked at my website, you know I get people who've crossed over. I get angels. I get light beings. I get ascended masters. I get all kinds of things. Um, and for you, I am seeing like the universe and the stars and the, the idea of a, of a light being, which is actually code word for extraterrestrial coming in. Um, and it's kind of trying to see what it really looks like because I don't want to just jump into it's a gray but it's it's looking kind of like that it's kind of um, cement color <laughs> I don't know how to say. um kind of tall and it, it's it's I don't know have you ever had anybody give you a reading where an ET came in no okay are you have any interest in ETs you do Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Because <laughs> I usually don't get them unless somebody either knows about them or has some sort of an interest in them. They don't generally just pop up unless, unless that's happening. So the message is um, kind of you're one of us or you've come, come from the stars and they're really trying to point me to when you're like about three years old two or three years old, something happened, it feels like a, a dream state or something where it, you may have gone and visited. Uh, do you know when you were real little if you had any weird experiences like that or anything that would lead you to wonder, has anything ever happened? Okay. Um, well, one way to validate this kind of thing is if you see another medium and they bring in something similar to you. That's kind of how that, that usually has to play out. Um, uh, but uh, it just, that's all it wants to say is you're one of us. So. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah. <laughs> You are interested, yeah. Well, it doesn't, yeah. We'll just leave that one with, there for now. Okay, <laughs> all right, thank you. Uh, sir in the blue shirt, may it come to you. May it come to you? No, that's you. Right to you, yeah, John. Yeah, I know you too, yeah, John. Um, boy, I'm in the big wide open spaces. Just, and it's night. Uh, I'm seeing a scene of the big, uh, you know, kind of deserty, maybe flat. Uh, wherever I am, there's a. It feels like there's a river or something nearby, uh, or water. I'm hearing water, and the idea of a. Um, I can't quite tell if it's a trailer or a camper or there's some. You're like out there camping or something, um, and the woman is coming through. The best times, so the best times. We're like out in the desert on our property, on our property. Oh, this is your property. Okay, uh, and oh, she's getting kind of spunky. She's she's petite. I've actually had her before. It's your wife. She's petite, spunky. You've got her too, don't you, Cheryl? You're nodding, yeah. She's, um, and she's like running around. I don't know if she's doing dishes or what she's doing out there, even though it's kind of dark. <laughs> she's, she's, she's running around doing something, and she's saying how much she enjoyed taking care of you and how much uh, your days together meant to her, and you were the best partner for her in, like, all her partners, <laughs> her life, you know. Um, and how much she wishes you could be physically together this Valentine's Day out in the desert and looking at the stars all above you. There's something about the whole idea that she's the night, this water, the stars. That's like the ingredients to a nice evening for her. Does that make sense to you? Very much? Okay. Um, she loves you, she always will, but she says you gotta get out there. She says, I know it's hard. She says, you don't do good on your own. Anyway, okay, <laughs> leave that one with you. 
Okay, so whew, let's come back over this way. <sighs> I kind of want to come to you with the hair kind of my color. <laughs> but I don't know who I've got for you. <laughs> so, but I'm feeling drawn to you. And that happens. I, I go across the room and sometimes I just don't see people and then I'll see light around someone or I'll just kind of be drawn to someone. And I think we're going back into the gentleman mode, a male coming through for you. Um, trying to get him in more so I can describe him well to you. Um, he seems on the slender side to me. He's maybe average height as he's coming in. Average to me is like, you know, 5'8", 5'10", somewhere in there, kind of somewhere. Um, his hair is of a darker color, and it's got some curl to it. it, it it's got some curl. Um, and at first I thought, oh, maybe this is a father or something like that. But he doesn't really, he doesn't, he seems too young for that. He doesn't seem, he seems more kind of closer to your age or something. Something about his hair with these waves, dark waves. Um, he's showing me like a, my husband likes vans, VW vans, but he's showing me a VW van. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? You had a funny look on your face. Okay, not yet. That's all right. And the idea of this VW van in the ocean and the beach, and so that's something I think he would have liked. Um, he feels more like, to me, like uh, either a friend or a past lover or something along those lines. Um, he also, in his younger days, I think he might have imbibed in some things he shouldn't. Well, now it's legal, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, might have used some drugs or so, something like along those lines. Um, he's talking like he liked the dead, Grateful Dead. Um, his name, and don't don't hold me on names because it's tricky. But I'm hearing Richard, uh, it's an R, and he feels like you knew him. I'm trying to figure out how old you'd be. That would be helpful. Feels like you would have known him like in your early 20s, somewhere, somewhere in there. So, he, you know, I get this too. Like sometimes I get people who liked you that you didn't, that, you know, it didn't last or some something like that. So, does this guy make any sense to you? Does this beaches, VW vans? You're getting chills. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Um, are you single? No. Hmm. Sometimes these guys come in when you're single or they want you to feel more loved or they want some, something along those lines. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> um, so you may have to think about it for a while. There's definitely somebody, and I feel like you would have been or known or met him around a beach. So think back when you may have spent time around a beach and, I mean, it can be somebody you didn't know all that well, but he, li for whatever reason, his feelings towards you um, are of a romantic nature or of, of uh, he, he, see what his message is for you. He says, no, she's loved, but can you ever have enough love? <laughs> So he's kind of open-minded. <laughs> Can you ever have enough love? Uh, I think he's saying he kind of liked lots of girls in his time. Um, uh, and his, well, you don't, you, I don't think average height, think slender, think curly, wavy hair. I'm not picking up like surfing and all of that that goes with the beach. Um, but okay, and, and just to make, just to make sure. This guy doesn't match somebody else, right? No. Okay. I, I really feel like he's for you. So, okay. <laughs> that, was, that was different. I'm going to come right next door mm, to Sarah. I know Sarah, too. I didn't know the lady with the blonde hair, but I knew, I knew Sarah. Um, I have a female coming through for you. 
and as I see her, she's pretty. Uh, she's got, I'm going to say, kind of blondish colored hair. She's in a bed as I'm seeing her. Um, and she's got a book next to her on the table by the bed, like a little hardback book that uh, feels important to her, this book. Either the idea of reading or the, this book. I don't know if it's like a little poetry book or maybe even a, some sort of word dictionary book of other languages. Something, something about this book is important to her. Um, and as I see you, you're like a little girl near her, uh, hanging out with her. And um, I know I've never gotten your mother in, and she feels or looks kind of like what I would think your mom would be. Is this, you're kind of starting to cry, so I think I'm, I'm hitting, hitting the nail on the head. And she's like, I'm so sorry I haven't come in for you before because you've needed me so much. Um, not just today, but over the years, you've needed me. And my guidance would have, would have been good to have. Um, and she's talking kind of about the past. Not so much today, right now, but there's a time in your life she particularly wishes she could have been around and in good health to kick some butt. It's <laughs> not the word she's using. Um, <laughs> Um, she says you're with a good guy um, and for you to value him she says even though he's not perfect are any of us perfect really you know and um, she says she likes what you're doing to the place to your house she likes what you're doing um but she feels you may move again. Uh, not tomorrow, but maybe in the next two, three years south, like towards LA. I don't know, she's, she's saying that. Um, and she, she doesn't want to go into daughters. No, she doesn't want to touch that. I mean, other than you. <laughs> You're her daughter, but she doesn't want to go to your child right now um and then she's uh, she's, she's kind of showing me the picture in the bed again and she's cutting something out like you know a heart's out of doilies or something she's trying to cut something out and so her gift for you for valentine's is like a doily heart a, you know a little doily heart um and kisses to you because you're her little girl and you always will be okay Okay, you guys can't all see it, but she is crying, and yeah, we've got her. Okay, all right. Oh, it's time for me to take a break. So before I, I go on break, I just want to say a little bit more about these raffle prizes that we've got for you tonight. Um, past life regression is usually an hour and a half. I put you in a light trance, and you get the opportunity to go back and visit a lifetime for whatever kind of reason you want. Some people do it because they're, well, Often people do it because they're in love with somebody and they want to know, did I know this person in a past life? But sometimes people do it because um, they have some issue that they've been working on and they can't get rid of it. And they've tried therapy and they've tried this. And so, so they'll do a past life regression. The readings that are complimentary, uh, like I said, they're over the phone or in person. And, and it can be like this, where I'm giving people who've crossed over. It could be ascended masters. It could be sometimes past life information comes up, or you want guidance in your life. And it's pretty interesting. I get sort of Akashic information. Um, and then the repair and reattachment. That n Most people have no clue what that is. Uh, I'm also a psychotherapist. And uh, so the repair and reattachment goes through my psychotherapy business. And it's a one session, th usually uh, three and a half to five hours where I help someone um, feel a lot better from the passing of someone, whether it just happened or whether it was a long time ago. And I have the person listen to bilateral music and we take, we talk and we get these memories together and you get so relaxed. One, the, the problem memories no longer bother you anymore, which can be things in hospitals, things like that. But it also, um, gets you so relaxed that you can make the connection with the one who crossed over. So that's a pretty neat thing. And then 
Oh, well, Reiki energy healing. Who doesn't like that? I can, I get, so I, I do these things, but when I get near people and work with their energy, I get all kinds of information about your <laughs> life just from your body and your energy. And I kind of see what's going on in people's bodies. And that's really pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and take a break for 15 minutes. You guys. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, apparently the clock on the back wall and my, my clock on my phone have two different times. So <laughs> I didn't think about that. Okay. Well, let's see. We got a little more time here. Let's see what else I can pull out of the hat here. Whew. I hope you all had a good break. <sighs> Let me just roam around a little. You look real familiar to me. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Has it been a while? Okay. Well, let's see. Who do I have coming in for you? Because uh, I don't just, you know, <laughs> if I start to get drawn to somebody, uh, there's a reason. Um, and I have no memory of who I got for you, if I got somebody for you before. Um, so I have a male coming. Here we go with the male skin. But I have a male coming through for you, but he feels pretty young to me. Um, and he looks kind of like you. Have you had a son pass over? No? Who is this young male? Um, he's got lighter colored hair, and he comes in. He's probably... Uh, He could be like between 16 to 20 as I'm, I'm seeing him. He seems particularly young. Um, and he would have liked skateboards, I think. Uh, and he would have liked motorcycles. Now, did he have one? I don't know. <laughs> you can like him and not have him. And his height is probably just, he's not super tall. I'm going to say, well, I'm, I'm hearing like 5'5". Five five. That seems pretty not super tall to me. Um, I see you have this young man sitting next to you, too. Is he with you? I'm kind of starting to wonder, is it somebody you know? But um, uh, And this young man, I feel like I see him like in high school type, type setting. Um, I'm hearing that he took his life it was a, a suicide, um, young. So now I'm, I know I said 20, but it's feeling younger than that, more, more high school age. Um, he's saying his mom is here. Uh, so maybe I'm just not in the right spot even uh, oh unless there's a son, you don't have a kid you don't know about no I can't. <laughs> sometimes I do get kids who, who have had miscarriages and things like that but this person was definitely here no he was here until he was like 16 or so um or maybe just talking about his mom uh I'm trying to ask him his name I'm hearing the word Russell uh like an R name and I do think he would have ridden like a dirt bike or a motorcycle bike. Um, I think he kind of would have come from around here too, more like, like Auburn or Grass Valley, kind of somewhere from around this area. Um, is this sounding familiar to you? It's not sounding familiar to you at all. How about you and it, it, for anybody in school that you know that may have, no, no, anybody here. He is definitely, definitely a young man that would have committed suicide, I believe, that's what I'm hearing, um, like dirt bikes. Uh, well, you, I think you would know if you knew somebody that young that it When he would have been a teenager, would he have liked dirt bikes? 
Okay. Um, would you have known him when he would have been in high school? Why is he showing me that age? Because I'm really drawn to you. So, um, but I keep being drawn to the young man next to you. So, I mean, it's possible it's him, but he's showing me him when he's in high school for a reason. Um, so let me just ask him. A friend, oh, you said already a friend of yours, because I feel like he's saying a friend of yours. Um, okay, let me see if he's older, would he have enjoyed some drinking? <laughs> Not old, uh, more like in his 30s, he would have liked drinking. Yeah, uh, and if he's a little older, would he have liked um, tinkering with engine parts and things, or uh, like working on things with his hands? Feels like there's machinery or something around him. It, it, I want to say it's like the cars and things. No, okay. Let me go ahead and give his message because that he's coming in. I'm really drawn to you. I may have a few things a little mixed up there, um, but I'm also real drawn to this young man that's right next to you. He's trying to talk actually to the young man next to you. Um, he's saying not to be like him. Um, and to study hard and to um, make, make something of yourself. So this tells me in his personality, he doesn't feel that good about how he did in his own life. Um, he says he made a lot of mistakes. Um, feels like he also, more than drinking, he would have done some other things too that, you know, like maybe math or something like that. Um, and he's, he, he's trying to speak to you, to the youth, because you've got all the opportunity ahead of you. You've got, you know, the world is your oyster. And, um, and he, it's the idea of the mom again. He says, don't let a day go by that you're not grateful for your mother. Is this your son? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I like that too. Um, And he says something about, well, you know, none of us are perfect. None of us are perfect, he says. And you've got a good group of friends around you. There's something about your friends. And um, there's a way in which your friends hold you up. And he, he, he says you've got the brains to go far. Are you doing pretty good in school? Are you out of school? <laughs> you still in school? Some online class. For what? Ah, okay. Okay, all right. Um, he wants you to, to really take it seriously, apply yourself, and you can, you can go far, okay? So, yeah, this is kind of a message about maybe his life didn't go the way he wanted it to. I think it probably is your friend Rags, even though I didn't nail it all perfectly, but um, the message is certainly a good message. So, okay? All right, I'm gonna leave that one with you. Whew, let me come. And even if I don't get to you tonight, that doesn't mean your loved ones don't wanna talk to you because they definitely do. I had a, a guide pop in with me last night and he's been with me ever since. And you know, like you wanna have a message, those in spirit want to get here too. So they're like trying to get to me before I even get here. So let's see. Um, I'm real drawn to you in the gray kind of shawl or sweater or whatever that is. Hi. You look familiar. Yeah. I don't remember. Oh, were you here? Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't remember that. <laughs> so, okay. Well, let me see who I have coming through for you. Another male. <laughs> Another male. Uh, they can come through any age, but as I'm seeing him, he's coming through younger uh, like 20 ish, um, dark hair, um, kind of olive complected. Um, I'm hearing the word cousin. Uh, and he would have had a real 
perky personality. You know, as a young person, he would have had a perky, happy personality. He's um, also would have had an interest in cars. Um, I'm trying to see. I think he got older than what I'm seeing him. Like, I think he got into his 30s before he passed. But for some reason, he's showing me himself younger, like in, like, 20-ish, somewhere in there. Um, and I think his name, I'm getting a lot of R names tonight. I think his name would have started with an R. Um, Romeo is not a correct name. I don't, I don't know. Um, and he, let's see, what can I tell you about him? What else? So as I get him more in his, like, say, 30s, he's, uh, I think he works with his hands. He, fe he feels like family to you, um, but not super close. So cousin or like a cousin. Does this sound familiar to you at all? Not real tall. Like, you know, uh, five, five, something like that. Let me see what his message is. And he's showing me muffins. Uh, you know, like muffins you make in the oven. <laughs> muffins. Um, and he's talking about you being a good cook. Do you like to bake? Oh, you do. You like to make muffins? <laughs> Baking. Um... He's saying you're a good woman uh, and something about deserving a good man um, and so he definitely knew you when you were like 20 but I'm still going along that kind of cousin like a cousin but I think he thought you were cute but a lot of times cousins you know kind of like cousins and that kind of thing um, and there's the idea of you in school. Would you have gone to school with any of your cousins? No, like a cousin. The idea of you in school, in high school, or young, young. Um, he, uh, he's talking about you, you deserving love. That's what he's talking about. Um, so are you currently married or with someone? Mm, I hope it's happy. <laughs> I'm always scared to say these things, you know. Uh, and I'm hoping you're going to figure out who he is. Uh, I think I'm going to have to leave that one with you because I don't really quite know who he is. Um, just make sure you keep getting love in your life, okay, because that's his big message to you. So I'll leave that one with you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I haven't visited way back there at all yet. I feel like I want to come to the two of you with the glasses on. Are you guys together? Well, you do kind of look alike, actually, too. But I feel like as I'm coming to you, I'm coming to both of you with another male. You know, with another, another uh, male is trying to come through. Um, this gentleman, I feel like I'm going back in time for this gentleman. Uh, like he would have been young, probably World War II time. Uh, he would have had darker colored hair, um, light complexion. Um, might have been in, the, I, I want to say, kind of the army, because whatever he's wearing is kind of khaki colored. Um, would have liked fishing uh, in his lifetime, kind of the outdoors. Um, didn't get to spend as much time outdoors, though, as he would have liked. Feels like um, in his life post-war, he worked like in a building kind of atmosphere, uh, kind of a traditional home. You know, wife come home, and everything feels pretty traditional with this gentleman. Um, I'm drawn to the lady with the stripes. On, I'm kind of looking at your body. Uh, I'm drawn to the male side of your family. Um, you know, part of me was like, oh, it's a dad or this. But I'm hearing more like an uncle. Um, does he so far fit for, for someone you know? You're looking at, you <laughs> you're nodding, but you look kind of shocked. 
Okay, so do you know who he is? Because you're looking kind of, we're not crying and we're not, but you kind of know. You're almost, okay, you know who he is. Okay, yeah, so my way to you is through you. Um, let's see what his message is. His message is about the two of you and um, your relationship with one another. And his, um, he's saying something like, um, don't be like me and my brothers. Like maybe he had some issues with his brothers. Um, and he wants you to um, stay close. Um, sometimes there's little things that, you know, well, we all have little things that, you know, get on each other's nerves. Um, but he, uh, he says there's somebody else you really wanted to see tonight, but, but he's here and, and it's because he's here. Are, are you, you look more like, a, are you siblings or a mom and a daughter? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You're more mom and daughter, but he's talking about siblings. So I'm like, what, what's this got to do with it? Um, but it's, I guess, the idea of family, and um, you look to me like you're pretty close. So uh, he really, he... <sighs> he's just talking about the idea of the bond, of, of being close, staying close, loving each other. It has to do with family. And I think as you think about this, if you look back at him and you look at his history with his family, his siblings especially, it wasn't all that great that there were some issues. So um, that may take a little research for you. I don't know. Um, but that's why he's coming through tonight. And sometimes when I get messages for some, I'm going to leave that one with you, by the way. I, sometimes when I get messages, like I'm coming to them, he's talking about this idea of siblings and not getting along. They look like they get along great. They, they say, you seem like you do. But sometimes I'll give a message, and it's m for other people that are in the audience that don't even, you know, know. So, so for everybody to hear that, okay? Uh, let's see. Well, maybe I'll come to you two ladies are kind of visiting there. It caught my eye. Um, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not mad. Um, let's see. But which one of you am I coming to? I feel like I'm coming more to you. I have a woman coming in for you, and she looks a lot like you. Um, some of her eyebrows and kind of a strong face. Um, just trying to figure out this. I mean, this is like a mother or a grandmother kind of a, a look. It's too close to be off in in a direction, and her personality. Um, it's kind of strong. But in kind of a good way. And when she was younger, she would have liked lipstick, like red lipstick. Um, and she's getting mad at me. Uh, <laughs> you haven't lost a sister, have you? No. Okay. Okay. Because she's like getting, she's getting kind of perturbed with me. But um, yeah, she wants there's something. And she's not particularly tall. So I'm going to say she's kind of petite. And this idea of the lipstick, I think I'm going back in time, more like that World War II time again, or when, you know, when people wore, when people wore more lipstick more and red um, because she's a winter. So she would have known about her clothing season. You know, the seasons of the clothing, the summer, fall. She's a winter. Um, is this making sense to you? Or just... Does she look a lot like you? Because this woman looks a lot like you. Dark hair, the pronounced eyebrows, very strong, not real tall. I just wanted to, I, she looks so much like you, that's why I just kind of go, she's got to be like a mom or a grandmother. Um, she's not super skinny. She's, you know, got a little weight to her. Um, she would have typed in her lifetime. Um, she may even have managed some people. Um, like she, and she worked hard to get there. Like, <laughs> the glass ceiling. 
that kind of thing. So does this sound maybe like this woman you knew? Yeah. Okay, it probably is a message. She's coming in almost like in a protective manner to you about your work and about, I feel like you're being treated unfairly. I'm killing her, everybody. Wait. <laughs> I don't want to kill you, but I do want to kill you. So <laughs> um, she wants you to fight something. There's so, you know what it is? She wants you to fight something, and she wants you to. It's not really about breaking the glass ceiling. It's about somebody done you wrong at work. Um, okay. So, um, and I'm thinking, she's trying to show me. Okay, so this is this idea. So, so when she worked, it's, it, she has to be kind of from the time of, you know, well, we still have women's liberation and stuff, but she's very much about break the glass ceiling. And, and she wants to give you a key to the men's bathroom. <laughs> she wants to give you like a golden key to some special room that only men go to. She wants to give you, you know, which just takes me back, you know. <laughs> so, makes sense? Okay. Well, I think that's more symbolic than literal. <laughs> okay. So know that this woman is supporting you. I think she would like to support other women too. She's, she's very much about women getting ahead and being recognized for their brains and their abilities. And uh, so I'm going to leave that one with you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hi, ladies. Ah. <sighs> see. I can't tell if I'm who I'm with here. <laughs> I was here earlier. I think this time I'm coming to you. Um, who do I have for you? Hmm. It's, it's a male, but I can't, ha I'm not seeing him real clearly yet. Um, uh, He's showing me a bicycle, and he is, um, his hair, it's not, it, I almost want to say it's like the lighter colors of your hair. It's not as a dark colored hair. It's kind of a, a brownish. Um, only then, when I see the bicycle, I see also a little tiny bicycle, like for a baby kind of a bicycle. Um, I think he knew you when you were super little. Um, as I'm playing with my bracelet, which I don't think I've been playing with all night, I'm suddenly thinking about a wristwatch with him. There's something for him about a, a watch. Uh, how old did this gentleman? I still don't feel like I'm seeing him super clearly, but he, he, does, he seems like his weight is kind of average, pretty good, and his height is just kind of average. Um, how old can I get him? No later than, I feel like early 60s, no later, not that, not that, not super old. Um, and the bicycle I see is like a 10-speed bicycle uh, with the wrapped kind of handle bars that, you know, 10-speed bicycle. <laughs> um, who is he to you? And he's showing me a briefcase, like in his life, his work would have involved papers in this briefcase. He's, he's trying to throw a lot of information at me. Um, a dog, like a dog, um, would have liked the outdoors, may have lived where there was uh, trees and some, some kind of country atmosphere. Um, can't pin him down who he is to you, though. He's not feeling like a dad. He's not feeling, but you knew him when you were little. I'm hearing more along the uncle line, maybe even more like a great uncle, which I don't know. That seems like a stretch for him to have the bicycle and you as a little kid to have a bicycle. But maybe along the line of an uncle. Do you know if you have any uncles that passed? before you were born. 
Yeah, no, this, I think you met him when you were little. Let me go ahead and see what his message is. Um, he says he's not who you were, well, obviously he's not who you were looking for tonight. <laughs> we haven't eaten and nailed him down. Uh, but his message, why is he coming through? Are you two sisters or related or something? Like sisters? Are you close, close like sisters? Um, he's talking about you and the idea of sisters or friends in your circle and expanding your circle. You need to be getting out more and being around more people. Um, that there's a, in the last two, three months, maybe you've been isolating a little. Um, you know, which could be sort of a depression or something like that. But but you need to be getting out more and um, and getting support. Does that make sense to you? Not sure. Have you been getting out a lot? Do you have lots of friends? Yeah. Hmm. Does this fit for anybody else around you? I know it's my vibration starting to drop, but anybody back here, is this fit for anybody else? No. Okay. Well, I'm just going to leave that one with you and kind of call that out. Who knows what that was? <laughs> so I'm going to have to just let that one go. Hi. How are you? May I come to you? Okay. Let's see what I've got here. Um... I've got a male along, I want to say along your mother's side of the family, but his his complexion looks a lot like yours. Um, and he's slender, and he's taller, and um, he would have liked numbers, and um, in his work, he may have either drawn or had numbers. I feel like there's a pencil or something going in his work. Um, he... Um, feel something barking with him, like a dog is with him uh, on that side, uh, or is trying to reach you. Uh, dog, <laughs> dog is barking. Um, I don't know how good he was, but I think he also would have dabbled with golf. I'm seeing the idea of a golf club. Um, and he's showing me an older car. Uh, this car feels like it's back in the 50s. I mean, it's got the, the you know, the long wing tips on the back of the end of the car, and it's kind of, kind of rounded top. I don't know my cars all that well, but it feels like maybe 50s or 60s or something. You know, kind of uh, American graffiti, I'm hearing. Okay, so that takes us back in time. Um, and that would have been when he was younger. Um, so he does feel like family, mother's side. I don't think he's a grandfather. He feels more like an uncle somewhere around there. Does this description fit anyone for you so far? Maybe. Would it be mother's side or do I have him flipped? Okay. Okay. So that is, yeah, okay. Okay. I guess if he was in the 50s and he was in his 30s, he would be pretty old by now. So that could be that time. Um, and I think he would have enjoyed cars or engines and things like that. Does that make sense? Okay, so let me give you his message. Um, do we think we've got him? Can I say we've got him? You're not totally sure? Okay, well, let me go ahead and give the message. My vibration's starting to drop here, King. If you can't tell, I'm like, ah. Oh. Um, so, let's see, his message to you is about your mother. Is your mother still here? Why, is he, why didn't she just come in? Why he, <laughs> he says she's not available right now. Um, so he was sent in her place. Um, uh, I think she's maybe in healing or so. Well, she's not available. <laughs> so, uh, but he's giving you a message from her. Um, so they must have been kind of knew each other pretty good for him to be given the, uh, the go ahead to come give a message for her to you. How bizarre. I, okay, that's a new one for me. Um, and he's talking about the idea of all family loving you 
and um, you'll fit right in up here when your time comes. <laughs> you'll fit right in like there'll be a big party, but we don't want that anytime soon. And how much your mother loves you. And he says she thinks about you often on the other side and talks about you like in get togethers, that kind of thing. Um, and he says, and we do have get togethers like where there's like dancing and things and He's like, well, I love her too, but that's not really what she's wanting to hear. I think he would he'd like your mother is what he's, he's here representing your mother. Okay. So that's a bizarre one. Okay. So I'm going to leave that one with you. And on that note, I think my, I, I, I think I'm toast. <laughs>